Hey YouTube, hope you're having a great time. Today we have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Now Samsung has recently released two of its mid-range tablets, the Galaxy Tab A and then the Galaxy Tab E that we also have here. We'll probably make a comparison video between the two, although they are generally targeted at different kind of um, you know segment. So the main difference between these two is that the Tab A has a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, whereas the Tab E is the usual 16 by 9 aspect ratio um, now you get three models of the galaxy tab a in the us uh, the price starts from uh, 230 dollars so this is the 8 inch version you'll get this for 230 dollars you also have a 9.7 inch version which will cost you 299 or 300 dollars and then you all also have a 9.7 inch version with the s pen which will cost you 50 dollar more so that is 350 dollars here in india however we only have uh, one model the 8 inch one and this cost uh, slightly under uh, 24000 the mrp is the mop of course is slightly less so uh, we already made a detailed unboxing and first boot video uh, you know about the tab a so i'm not gonna bore you with um, again an unboxing video here you can check out that i uh, I'll give the link on the uh, cards there but uh, I'll just tell you what's in there you get the usual stuff no earphones you get the micro USB uh, 2.0 cable your wall charger and then the manual in the box out here so I'm just gonna keep the box aside and we'll straight away go to the tablet so that's the Galaxy Tab A 8 inch so you have a uh, 18 screen here 4 by 3 aspect ratio a uh, difference uh, in the aspect ratio are very prominent you see this is a very very long and wide screen so that's why the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and there's a third type of aspect ratio that Samsung has which is like this so this is the Galaxy Tab S 10.5 inch this is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio between uh, somewhere between these two so this guy is great for viewing widescreen movies and all but this form factor is specifically designed you know uh, for reading purposes so if you read books and comics and magazines they kind of fits in nicely because you have that extra space uh, on this side so it's a tft screen it's um resolution is i think 1024 by 768 slightly less than the galaxy tab e but it also has um smaller skin much smaller skin than the 9.6 inch galaxy tab e you have a 2 uh, 2 mp front camera there and then your usual stuff usual buttons and all here nothing much you see the button speaker grills and 3.5 mm jacks and micro usb 2.0 port mouthpiece volume rocker power button a secondary noise cancelling mic here you also have your sim card slot and micro sd card slot this the galaxy tab a supports 4g connectivity uh, you have a 5 mp back camera without the led flash and you see like the tablet s you have these clips so that you can attach an optional um you know cover there so uh, this is powered by 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor uh, you have 2 gb of ram 16 gb internal storage but then this micro sd card can expand your storage um you know i mean for a good amount so that you can store all your books and medias and stuff you won't fall short of uh, space now this part is a very nice aluminium ring which actually is plastic but this gives a very metallic feeling to the tablet it's very very glossy attracts a lot of fingerprints uh, at 320 gram uh, it's slightly heavier than our 8 inch tablet s but still this form factor is much uh, easier to carry or much more mobile than uh, something like this. This one is just under 500 grams, so you feel the difference in weight. The 1024 by 768 resolution on an 18 screen is fairly low compared to the competition, like let's say the iPad mini, which has a retina display, retina resolution, and then also the Tab S 8 inch, which has a 2K resolution. This is fairly low that way. Also, a TFT screen. Um, and uh, you'll see that the icons are slightly pixelated even when you look at them from a normal distance now if you go and look at any picture for example the colors are good but again you won't see the blacks very dark uh, but the wing angle are good enough let's see they are good enough 
And so overall, uh, below average display compared to the competition, I would say. So the Galaxy Tab A is powered by Android uh, Lollipop and you have Samsung's own TouchWiz on top. You can see 5.0.2 and you'll get roughly under 11 GB of space when you buy them. Uh, we have some games installed so that's why it says available 6.98 and then we're gonna go and kill all apps and then we'll again go to settings to see how much RAM the device uses. Um, without us running any applications in the background so you can see about 1.1 GB is free out of 2 GB so that's slightly on a higher um, note we have installed these three applications but apart from that all the other applications come preloaded so you have Samsung's uh, in-house apps like your smart manager that's a new app that came with the S6 I like this so you, you say once clean all and it will check everything it will clean the ram it will check the battery level and then your storage and also your device security once you activate it and then yeah mm, what else you have the usual google apps there and also since the galaxy s6 samsung has moved away from dropbox and to onedrive so you again get 100 gb of onedrive free here so the offer remains the same and then your 5MP camera, you can hold it like this, hold it like this. And it's, it's very fast. And then you have some FX and then your self timer and then some settings. So the max video, the 5MP camera records is HD. You can start your video from here, capture, pause or stop it. You also have um, some modes there. And then you can switch it to the front camera it lags a bit just a tad bit but it's not smoothing my skin in fact it's making me look worse than I actually am anyway so we checked out the image and video quality they're just about average uh, well the 5mp back camera gives out some decent image that are good for um, you know good for uploading on the net but uh, uh, overall if you zoom into 100% you will see um, you know noise and grains there under low light uh, the devices details drops drastically overall uh, above average um, image and video quality but nothing much to write home about. So I like the sound output, it's large enough, it's loud enough and uh, well it has a decent amount of bass although it's not very bass heavy but it's not sounding flat at least. The treble is also just about okay but at times the bass is kind of overshadowing uh, the treble. Do you see this? So there's something important to take note of here first of all. Is that if you hold the tablet like this uh, the buttons on the right side then you're gonna cover the speaker here and you won't get the sound so if you're playing a game or watching a movie or doing anything that needs an audio output or that gives out an audio anyway um, you should hold it like this because the speaker is only on this side so if you're holding like this then you actually you're not covering the speaker Overall, the surround sound is good enough. That's a small something to take note of. We also did some USB OTZ test and benchmark and all those tests. Um, we made dedicated video about those. You can check those out in our playlist or I'll probably give the link um, in the cards. Now, the important thing to notice here is um, the difference in aspect ratio so that your magazines or comics or books fit properly so that told you before the 4x3 aspect ratio is better for those the books comics magazines because you see there's slightly more space um, 
you know this way so your magazines fit better this also is slightly brighter than uh, this screen of the galaxy tab you can see both are in auto darkness um, or auto brightness mode uh, you see this this kind of just fits better in the form factor you have lots of wasted space here and there the same thing is true in case you read the comics as well so for those this guy is perfect so then should you get the samsung galaxy tab a well uh at this price if you get an ipad mini 3 or an ipad with a, a retina display then um, your magazine viewing or comics viewing experience would be better both have almost a similar screen but uh, your ipad mini won't have an expandable storage this guy has an expandable storage plus um, the android ecosystem has more free apps than the ios ecosystem but this that's you know pretty subjective um, i would say overall uh, the camera quality on this one is slightly better than the one on the ipad but if you only compare the reading experience the ipads would be better you know mainly because of the better screen here but overall i think this guy is a pretty good deal and i'm i'm basically liking that uh, samsung is actually approaching that 4 by 3 aspect ratio because i've always wanted an android 4 by 3 aspect ratio tablet we have the nexus 9 in the recent tablets but not many so samsung is coming with that samsung has the biggest um you know portfolio of tablet right now in android at least and uh, i just hope we see a tablet s in 4 by 3 ratio that would be amazing if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this tablet and we'll try to answer them all and please uh, subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love thank you